Input Select presents another episode of Weekend Rental. We took hell to the next level in Spawn's In the Demon's Hand. This is a Dreamcast classic. Instant classic for us here on uh, Input Select. The Selectors was released in 2000 by Capcom. It is as Capcom as it comes. And uh, it is a great game. We're playing it because we're trying to play some spooky stuff this October. And yeah, classic uh, lineup of stuff to do. You've got a uh, co-op boss battle mode, a battle royale mode, and a team battle mode. Okay, I can't really move with the... Oh, the analog stick's not doing anything. I gotta use the D-pad. Yeah. Interesting. All right. I got the fence up. <laughs> oh, I got killed. So far, I really like this. It's janky as hell. <laughs> it's very uh, old. <laughs> and it is right up my alley. Oh! Oh, you got cheese on your head. I don't know what that's about. But don't I'm... call me a cheese head. Yatch. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Minus one still on this. Uh, this is no good. No good. I guess I should probably learn what all the little combinations do of buttons, you know what I mean? There's... They mentioned that those are a thing. Yeah, there was one that was mapped to right trigger that was like a special, which I don't know what the requirements are for doing a special. How do you pick up a weapon? Uh, you just hit attack when you're right on top of it. Oh my god, I just blew myself up. There are little explosive pickups around. No, oh, I killed myself. Whoops. Yeah, I can't, I can't pick anything up. Yeah, that's you probably can't pick you those up? a terrible character. I, yeah. Character, they can't pick anything up. All the items have big, like, look like a really skinny X written on them. But I can shoot this when I jump. Well, that's nice. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Oh, you could pick up these, uh. You could pick up these barrels, too, somehow, right? Yeah! Come on over. Ah! Fucking <laughs> thing. <laughs> I accidentally blew up some barrels. This is bad news. Uh oh. Yeah, I got okay. killed. Okay, oh, you come back. Yeah, I guess you'd probably be feeding quarters to the machine, though. Yeah, right, right. Wow, if this isn't my local pizza place, I would go ham. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. My dad would not let me play this. No, yeah. he, he wouldn't care. <laughs> oh, yes! It's really winning songwriting oh. in this one. There's some drums in there. Yeah. Ah, oh, the monitor's getting away. Got nice. nice. Much easier to kill me than the boss version of the monitor. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was on the other side of you. Alright, I guess I'll use the... Yeah. Air mines. Ooh, that would be... Oh, I can get that. That's <laughs> sick. Ah, <laughs> oh, admonisher. No. Oh, he, he just detonated me. on you? Yeah. The deathmatch... The arenas that we're in are very good. Yes, I'm liking them a lot. Splitgate could use could take a page out of this game book. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> These are balanced, unlike Splitgate. Yeah. Wow, I takes on this weekend uh, event. <laughs> oh! Damn. Where are the bad guys? <laughs> 
Oh, I the I Sam I character does this thing where he like gets angry and then raises his fists and doesn't do yeah. anything for a while while people shoot at him. Does he take damage uh, during that? I, 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 oh, I that don't sword know. has a crazy like area of effect. It's nuts. Yeah. It's it's like it's, like it's just hard to. It's like three D. Like I. I didn't know that I could hit like a whole floor above me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good ant like anti-air type of weapon. Yeah, I wish I. I it, it's all making more sense the more I play this game. <laughs> Let's open up the reviews with filter. Yeah, and what a battle it is! Um, this is a loud, dumb, and very fun game. Um, you know, they don't make them like this. They only made them like this in 1999. Uh, when everybody was high on balls, energy drink, and uh, greasy pizza, uh, <laughs> this is this game really, uh, you know, it it embraces the Todd McFarlane ethos. It gives you three buttons, eight directions, and says, "Hey, try to play Quake 3, but as if it's an arcade game." Um, everybody is your favorite guy from Spawn, who you may or may not know because your parents will let you buy those naughty. Uh, you know, Neanderthal comic books with the boobies and the muscly guys with skull faces and flames and whatever. But um, <laughs> I think we all had a blast with this one. I gave it a four out of five. Uh, really, the only things I hold against it are um, just due to some limitations of what it is. It's an arcade game, uh, but it wants to be an arena shooter slash beat em up. Um, and it, it struggles with those confines of those simple controls um, and, you know, being a 3D game, a uh, very 3D game um, without a real camera stick or uh, any kind of normal aiming. Um, but I think it gets, it gets away with it, you know. It, it, it gives you the fun that you need um, when you're putting quarters into a machine or when you're, when you're hanging out with your friends around a Dreamcast with four controllers. Just turning up the butt rock and letting bullets fly. Um, a great time. But I'm going to pass over to Neo since and hear what he thinks. <laughs> Thank you, Belter. Uh I think that this game is really, really fun. Uh, I thought it was a total arcade perfection. I can see getting eight people together around four Dreamcast controllers or alternatively, four arcade cabinets uh, plugged in, in, into one another to just go to town on this. Swapping out, uh, talking shit. Yeah, I mean, this is what you want it to be. The spawn influence is strong. It works. Uh, I'm, I'm not super familiar with the comics, but I think it was pretty on brand. It is a 3D boxy looking Dreamcast game, or when it's on Dreamcast, it looks essentially Dreamcast. The only points I take off are that the controls were a little funny sometimes, and some of the characters kind of suck. So you got to know what you're doing, or somebody's going to just totally take you to task. But yeah, this game is awesome. I love it. Uh, get your homies together and play this game of a uh, great time. But I want to know what Dime thinks about the game. Well, I think very highly of this game. This game is it, it's only as simple as it needs to be and not one bit more. It's a lot to look at. It's a lot of fun to play. And yeah, it's it's a lot of fun to have have, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm picturing it right now, just as you guys are are saying. Uh, four cabinets or so in the corner of a pizza place a bunch of maniac uh kids surrounding it screaming at the top of their lungs uh certainly you know the one negative aspect of it that everybody has to say is, is the controls you know this game was certainly suffering from the fact that the second analog stick had not been invented yet but uh you know i i, I can't wait uh, I, I, I wish I wish that there was uh, something since then that came out representative of this with that second analog stick there. This game is great. Uh, I, I do wish that it wasn't just a series of labyrinths that you had to choose from. 
as far as stages go, but this game kept me guessing with different loadouts, different characters, and just seeing what all those things had to offer. Sometimes it was a real grab bag of, of, of gems or duds. And I like that about it. Even the even the lack of, of fluidity in the controls I found to be charming. So five out of five for me. Couldn't couldn't really couldn't really denigrate this game one bit.